Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Dr. Ree, a doctor with an interest in skin. And I'm Dr. Azal, a consultant dermatologist. And today we're going to be talking about La Roche-Posay's Ethiclar range. It has been going viral all over socials and some of the results for blemish prone skin are amazing. They are, and it's actually quite a big range. So if you are someone that has got oily, congested or blemish prone skin, and you want to start using the Ethiclar range, but you have no idea where to start, you're in luck because we are going to decode and simplify the whole range so that you can work out exactly which products you should be using for your skin. So kind of like matchmaking for your skin. Exactly. <laughs> Let's, Let's get, get into, into it. it. Okay, I am obsessed with the French pharmacy and I have to say it is my first stop anytime that I am in France because can you think of a more ultimate destination for skincare? Because I can't, I can't either. <laughs> you know, they have every skincare product for every skin concern. And actually La Roche-Posay was born out of the French pharmacy. Did you know that? No, I did not know that. But I guess the name sort of gives it away. Well, the name gives it away. La Roche-Posay. And another fun fact for you, La Roche-Posay is actually the UK's number one dermatologist recommended skincare brand. Did you know that? You know what? I kind of did know that because it is genuinely something that I recommend in clinic all the time. But anyway, if you are not lucky enough to have a French pharmacist talking you through the Epiclar range, do not worry. We are going to do that for you today. So the first thing to do is really to understand your skin and to break down your skin concern into categories. And I would say there are four main categories that you can break things down into. Number one, oiliness with excess shine and visible pores. Number two, mild blemishes and clogged pores. Number three, moderate blemishes and those who are suffering with post acne marks. And number four, stubborn blemishes and skin that feels dry because of prescription treatments. So let's start with oiliness with excessive shine and visible pores. So if you're somebody that has oily skin, you probably notice that you get this shine, especially along your T-zone, really towards the end of the day. Oil or sebum production comes from our sebaceous glands, and these can become overactive for a number of different reasons, including hormonal changes. And when these glands are overactive, they can appear enlarged, making pores look more visible. So what can you do about it? Let's start off with cleansers. I always recommend foaming cleansers for oily skin because I think they're so great at reducing excess sebum production while still being really gentle on the skin. The La Roche-Posay purifying foaming gel cleanser is actually one of my favorites. And I love recommending it in clinic because it's really good at removing the dirt without being too harsh. No, I agree. And that's really important because if you're using a cleanser that's stripping your skin, you're gonna find that your skin ends up becoming dry, irritated, and it could lead to a damaged skin barrier and breakout. Absolutely, and I feel like a lot of people miss that trend. And I think actually something that I tend to see a lot of is that, you know, go for a cleanser, which is really gonna remove all that oil. It's really gonna mattify things down, but actually those cleansers tend to be the worst because those are the biggest culprits for completely stripping your skin, drying it out, which over time is gonna lead to having worsening breakouts and blemishes. Okay, next we need to talk about moisturizers. And yes, you do need a moisturizer, even if you have oily skin. And that's such a common mistake that yeah. I see. I think everyone thinks that if you have quite oily, shiny skin, that you should actually skip your moisturizer because it might make things worse. But that is absolutely not true. And actually, if you start incorporating a moisturizer into your routine, I promise you, you are gonna really reap the benefits of doing that. So the two options that I would recommend are the Ethiclar Matte Moisturizer and the Ethiclar K Plus Moisturizer. The Matte Moisturizer is an anti-shine, oil-free moisturizer. It contains Cebolis and the formula is proven to reduce oil production, mattify skin, and minimize the appearance of pores. So the one you want to go for is the Ethiclar Matte if you're most concerned with excess shine and oil control. The Ethiclar K Plus Moisturizer hydrates skin, but it also has some really great additional ingredients. It's got salicylic acid and LHAs. It helps to gently exfoliate the skin and unclog pores. And if you're someone who has blackheads, Heads, then this one is a really great option. Moving on to mild blemishes and clog pores. If you're someone who has lots of little bumps under the skin and these are either skin colored or they are black, clogged pores are when there's a buildup of dead skin cells, dirt and oil. If you have these, you want to go for the Ethiclar Foaming Cleanser for all the reasons that we mentioned before. It's really gentle, so it's gonna to help to remove all of that buildup. Now, when it comes to the moisturizer, the Duo Plus M Moisturizer is perfect for blackheads, 
clogged pores and congested skin. The formula is enriched with salicylic acid, it provides 24 hour hydration, it micro exfoliates clogged pores helping to prevent breakouts. And you might have noticed that the name has changed, it now has the plus M. I wondered that, I noticed that, tell us about it. So that's because it contains a new phylobioma active ingredient which specifically targets blemish causing bacteria and focuses on rebalancing and protecting the skin's delicate microbiome. Now let's talk about a skincare routine for more moderate blemishes and post acne marks. So moderate blemishes are when you have lots of small bumps underneath the skin or you have small uncomfortable bumps on the surface of the skin. This routine is also suitable for anyone who might be prone to breakouts and mild acne. The Epicar Foaming Cleanser again is perfect. Now when it comes to moisturiser, you can either go for the Duo Plus M Moisturiser or the Epicar Ultra Concentrated Serum or both. But let's talk about them in a little bit more detail. The Epicar Ultra Concentrated Serum is such a multi-active serum. It's got salicylic acid, glycolic acid, lipohydroxy acid, as well as niacinamides. It's a gentle exfoliant which helps to unclog pores and remove dead skin cells. And because it contains niacinamide, the formula has a brightening effect on the skin, reducing the appearance of marks left behind from spots. And niacinamide is one of my favorite ingredients actually. It's so great for strengthening the skin barrier, but also really great at just reducing any dark spots on the skin. So that's like a win-win ingredient to have in, in any product really. Absolutely. So that's a great little multifunctional serum there. <laughs> yeah. And lastly, stubborn blemishes and skin that feels dry because of prescription treatments. So if you're someone that's already seen your doctor or you're using treatments that are actually drying your skin out, then your skincare routine is actually going to be a little bit different because what you're going to be concentrating on is actually really hydrating your skin and helping to maintain a strong skin barrier. And guys, please remember that acne is a medical condition and we would always recommend that you seek advice from your dermatologist or your local GP. Absolutely, and there's actually so many different options in terms of treatment that your dermatologist or your GP can help you with, so don't feel afraid to reach out to them. The focus here is really going to be about soothing moisture to help reduce dryness and to soothe the skin that feels quite fragile and to maintain a healthy skin barrier for skin that is soft and hydrated. So for a cleanser, go for the Epiclar H Isobiome Cream Cleanser. When you think H, think hydration. <laughs> That's a really good way of remembering it. That's a really good way. This is a really gentle cleanser that contains oronella extract, shea butter, and niacinamide. It will help combat dryness and strengthen the skin barrier function. And then for the moisturizer, Ethica H Isobiome Soothing Moisturizer. I actually love recommending this one in clinic for anyone that's just looking for like a boost of hydration because it has so many barrier strengthening ingredients in there, which are so great. It has squalene, vitamin B5, glycerin. And like the cleanser, it also contains Aquaposse filiformis, a unique prebiotic ingredient from La roche -Posse, which is inspired by microbiome science, which we know is so important for healthy looking skin. These two products, as mentioned, are a specifically formulated hydrating range for blemish prone skin that also may be feeling a little dry, and they are suitable to be used alongside prescription skin treatments. And that brings us to the end of our roundup of the Epiclar range. We really hope that you guys found this useful because the Epiclar range can be a little bit confusing. There's quite a few different products, but we're really hoping that this is a short summary which helps you to identify which products would be best for you. And if you have any other questions on anything that we've discussed or anything around the Epiclar range, then please let us know in the comments and we will answer them for you. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and follow our channel so you don't miss out on the next video. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.